Hi everyone, this is Vegas and today I'm going to be talking with the founders of the trade exchange news you must use in your trading. Many, many people have never even heard of the trade exchange. So we're going to talk to the founders of the trade exchange and hear about what they offer and how it can help you in your trading journey. Let's get started. Okay, everyone, so I'm here with one of the founders of the Trade Exchange. And for those of you that are a customer of the Trade Exchange already, you know him as the voice of the Trade Exchange. And his name is Melt, and he is going to be talking to us, obviously, about the Trade Exchange, the amazing platform. But I also want to know, you know, a little more about Melt because many of you just know him by his voice every single day. So, Melt, welcome, and let's hear about you. Vegas, thank you very much for this. We really appreciate this. We value everything you've done for us, you know, um, everything that you mentioned, either through Stock Twitch, Twitter. Just want to give you a big thank you, first of all. Um, so, basically about me. You know, we started the Trade Exchange uh, in 2015. Prior to that, uh, when... I got out of college, I got straight into the industry, uh, worked for hedge funds uh, for about 10 to 15 years. Following that, uh, we started uh, venturing off with other partners into some proprietary trading. And then we, uh, from that, we started to do in focus strictly on day trading in regards to news and technical analysis. I was taught uh, technical analysis right out of school. So that was one of my uh, four, four days, I guess you can say, in regards to how I traded uh, stocks back in 2000, uh, early 2000. Uh, later on, you know, I started to venture into news and, um, you know, some quick trades and then out some scalping of specific stocks. And that was my day-to-day -day for about five years before we started Trade Exchange. So, you know, one of the key things about what we focused on in the mindset of creating trade exchange is giving the trader the benefit that a lot of other institutions, a lot of big time traders, hedge funds that we've worked with were able to garner because of the either the connections or relationships or even having the capital to, to subscribe to this kind of information, that information for everyone that trades this market, giving everyone a level playing field. So that's why, you know, me and my partners, we created the Trade Exchange, and that's why, you know, we try to do what we can to help each and every one of our traders, our members, and possibly, uh, you know, future traders down the road. Well, I have to say, I have been trading myself now for over five years, but I will say this. I have never, you know, when I was trading, I never really used a news service. I didn't even know what they were. And I knew of a couple of them, but honestly, I, I just couldn't afford them at the time because I didn't even know what value they would bring me. And I got to say, uh, wow, this trade exchange has just changed and enhanced not just my trading, but many traders, which I can talk about later. So why don't you just talk about your customers? Obviously, you have Every, the, the everyday traders like myself and members in my chat room, we have swing traders, institutional traders, new traders, experienced traders, and obviously long-term investors that are your customers. So obviously, let's talk about some of the data that you provide throughout the day. Um, maybe you could talk to us a little bit about that. Of course. So we focus our news desk, which is our trade exchange portal. We try to put everything that we used to use and utilize when we were trading into a simple, streamlined, uh, fast, you know, breakdown service. So we provide from, uh, you know, uh, unusual option activity, social media discussions, Twitter and stock Twitch has been a big impact the past few years on market. So we always try to uh, see information that are being mentioned by people that are followed and verified and you know we seem to notice a lot of volume always being moved by certain people in the business so that's why we also include social media discussions we like to focus on world and political headlines what's going on in europe what's going on in asia south america it always seems to impact the u.s market so we, we you know we tend to focus 
a lot on uh, on that type of uh, you know political discussions overseas, but we mainly focused on the U.S. companies. So even though we do have some international headlines, those are those are just basically in the room because they do affect the overall market uh, view. Uh, we also provide unusual volumes, you know, either a volume block or, uh, you know, a large sweep in a specific name. Uh, traders like to see that. Traders like to watch what other big traders are buying. So we try to focus, you know, a little bit on the unusual volume uh, in block trades as well on individual stocks. Well, SEC headlines. that is fabulous. Go, go ahead. So we also have SEC headlines. Um, a lot of people don't mention SEC headlines. What we've realized through our you know, data analysis is how much SEC headlines actually affect the stock. Either if it's a uh, 8K file and some uh, you know material information provided by the company that's not provided on press release, a insider purchase, uh, you know either an SC13G or D. What uh, you know if there are any any uh, activist traders purchasing the stock, you know one of the things we like to notice and one of the things we like to watch is a breakdown of SEC headlines. Uh, a lot of people don't put a lot of uh, emphasis on that, but we like to focus on that because we notice that through our trend analysis, they do move specific stocks. Well, you know what? We love the uh, Form 4 insider information. I mean, when you guys tell us about uh, insider buys, we love tracking those because we've seen a lot of the insider buying uh, weeks later a move in the stock. So that's been fantastic for us. Uh, and it actually, you know, as a trader, I mean, I used to have to track all these insider buys all the time. And now I just really have to say I really rely on on your service. Um, and I know my room loves it about, you know, the insider buying and the form fours and the block trades. I, ha I know one trader, he loves tracking block trades um, and he watches them for potential activity on the actual stock and uh, he it's really enhanced even his trading so I really appreciate that level of detail that you guys give I've never experienced that before um, and I'm just amazed with the wealth of information that you give us it actually feels when I actually have asked people that have used the service I actually get all the time I feel like I'm on a trading floor and that is the experience that we feel with your team and sometimes you know when you're not talking on voice because let's say you don't have anything to report we're they're like yes. where <laughs> where is he we miss him and i'm like he has oh, nothing know, to know. report and they're or they're asking if the volume is the microphone working and we're like it's on there's just no news to report so um it's, amazing it's sometimes it's just there's just no flow, you know, and we try to we try to keep the squawk side of the business only something that we believe is a market moving either headline or information. We don't like to over, you know, overflow the squawk because traders have to focus as well, you know, and if people are constantly talking on the squawk, it, 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 it takes away from the focus of actual trading what is being done. So, you know, whenever we have a squawk, we like to keep it very tight. We like to keep it uh, very simple and providing them with the information that is breaking information regarding options, block trades, not overdoing it so people can actually focus on making money during the day. And you know what? I so appreciate that so much because during the day, everyone knows as traders, everyone's using other artificial intelligence products on the market that actually have a voice feature. And that is going off in the background. And so to know that uh, your team at the trade exchange will actually come and talk uh, when required with vital information that could you know, um, be an alert on some activity on a stock uh, really is helpful. And I want to definitely say shout out to you guys last week. I got to say you guys were the first, I can tell you, uh, amazing, amazing commentary that you guys did on Tesla with regards to Elon Musk's tweet. And, oh, you know, yeah. uh, that was just incredible because people thought it was a joke and you uh, had mentioned uh, what the tweet was. And right away, I thought, oh, my gosh, let's sh let's short the stock or let's get some option puts. And my God, people made a fortune that day. And it was really thanks to you because I want to just tell people and those of you listening, when you're a trader, you don't have time to watch 
CNBC News. I don't have time to read uh, people's social media feeds and 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 read my alerts from social media and see you know these uh, CEOs and founders of companies that I love trading. What are they saying? And thank goodness for um, Trade Exchange because your team is the one who alerted us right away and that really helped us immensely so big thank you to your team that was incredible so we love thank that you. you give vital information and that was massive massive trade for many people so that was incredible uh, it was uh, it was a very interesting day we must say that day uh, you know initially <laughs> You know, once that happened, we had phone calls, you know, people wondering, you know, is this legit, is this a hack, what's going on? But what we noticed was, you know, it was a constant tweet. So, you know, once, you know, once uh, Twitter or once something happens where it's a, it's a possible of a hack, Twitter usually would, would shut down the, uh, the, uh, the person's uh, account. Right. It was never shut down. So at that point, we realized it's not, a, it's not fake. It's actually him speaking, him tweeting. So that's what continued the drop throughout the day. And going back to what you mentioned regarding, you know, the eyes and ears, one of the key things we always hear from all our, you know, from, from our mom and pop traders to, you know, our institutional desks to our proprietary firms that we work with, they say the same exact thing. It's, it's the eyes and ears that they don't have that we provide them that, you know, keeps them ability, keeps them able to just focus on trading and not having to do the research that typically these days you would have to pay someone hundreds of thousands of dollars to do, and you get it for forty four ninety five at the trading exchange. So a lot of people keep saying that to us as well. We are their eyes and ears to the market. Well, you know what? I will tell you for a fact, I'm so thankful I met you guys last year, and I have never um, looked back, and I wish I knew you guys before because the level of quality that I have every single day from your team is just amazing. And my team's obsessed with it. I've even shared content or retweeted information you've shared. And I've had people from social media saying, wow, I never even heard of Trade Exchange. Thank you for this information. Thank you, thank you. I've, I've always gotten thank yous from so many people. So kudos to your team. So we're just showing here the Thank news. You. You're welcome. So I'm just showing here the news desk just on this uh, uh, slide here. So we have the news desk. You guys can see that if you have a subscription to the trade exchange, uh, you would have the news desk, which would show you in real time uh, what is happening in the markets, um, any kind of 13G filings, after hour earnings, and any kind of volume on a stock volume pop and i want to mention something else too there's a lot of people that actually even trade penny stocks and i will say your team's on it i mean i've seen alerts from you guys about a volume pop on a certain ticker and uh, mentioning that you know maybe it's related to the covid 19. so anything that's moving for those of you that are trading it doesn't matter if it's penny play or large cap mid cap trade exchange is on it so you guys got to check them out. I'm just showing you guys the news feed. So let's talk about uh, Milt. Let's talk about the squawk and, you know, the real-time notifications and, um, you know, what, how this, having the squawk versus just the news desk alone, how it's, you know, night and day. Oh, well, we, no, we've always, when we, when we were trading, uh, out of, when I got out of college, we were trading at the hedge funds. And we were trading, um, you know, on proprietary desks. The key thing always was you need to focus on your trades. So one of the biggest things that we've noticed through our years of trading is how important the squawk really is. Just being able to focus on a trade, being able to focus on a chart, and not having to look constantly at the written aspect of the news desk, and providing the squawk, the voice. Uh, the voice action regarding a specific headline or an option play, it, it, it keeps you able to focus on your stocks and your charts. Not always having to look at, you know, a written, you know, the written aspect of the news desk. The squawk is very important. Uh, it gives the, the trader a much faster view than the written aspect of the news desk. 
it gives the trader the ability to keep focusing on their stock, on their, uh, on their charts, on their data, and not having to worry about always looking to the right or the left and looking to see what's popping up in the news desk. The reason why we, uh, we, inst we instituted the squawk included in the, in, the, in the whole package is the value that the squawk gives alone is something that we cherish. We, we, we focus a lot of our time in developing the right way of giving the information on the squawk. We focus the squawk on only important uh, breaking headlines in regards to individual stocks, in regards to uh, global or uh, you know uh, economic headlines, or if, uh, if there's a Fed speaker, if Powell speaking, or if you have like today we had uh, Clarita speaking, and that type of information moves markets. So we try to keep the squawk very tight. We try to keep the squawk uh, and our members knowing that whenever something is popping on the squawk. It's something to pay attention to. It's not a constant this popping or that. It's, it's really headline market moving information. And that's the way that we want uh, everyone to understand the reason why we think the squawk is so important. It provides that person, that trader, the information much faster, clearer, and it gives them the reason to just be like, you know what, maybe this is something important if it's being squawked. So that's why we like to keep that squawk, uh, you know, just on information that is market moving. Well, you know what? I cannot live without it. That's all I can say. And believe me, if you guys even think about trying it, you can either listen to it in my room and listen to it. I have it on voice all day or also you guys can have it here too. You can get your own subscription. Uh, some people don't like to be in chat rooms and that is okay. Um, you know, when you trade on your own, it's, it's a, it's nothing wrong with that, but you definitely, definitely need to have a new service and definitely you should try trade exchange and have the squawk feature because you know what? You don't need to sit there and stare at the screen all day and read all the news feeds. You can actually hear it while you're busy uh, trading or researching your stock or, or doing other things with regards to your trading so you could stay focused. And that's the whole point of the squawk. So now I just want to move along here to the morning mashup. And I have to say, this is an amazing document um, that is sent out every single day and very early in the morning and can you also mention Mel, like what time you guys start the squawk because i know you have a morning show in the mornings really early for these early yes. birds we start the the, the trading strategy we call it the pre-market prep we start that typically around 6 45 a.m eastern time during that period you know we give a breakdown of any uh overnight headlines <clears throat> market market moving information pre-market uh, you know, your, your highlighted analyst activity, your economic data for the day. You know, we like to give a, a, a uh, information regarding European markets, the Asian markets. It's basically a breakdown to start a trading day. So we start that every morning at 6.45 a.m. Um, we typically end that around 7.45, and then the full day starts at 8 a.m. Eastern time. Wow, that's a very long day. Yes, it is. So the morning mashup. But it's worth it. As, as much as we can help, you know, we try to do as much as we can. Well, you know what? I have to say it's, it's, I look forward to the mornings every day with the trade exchange and I, you know, it, it keeps me going. Like I don't even turn on the CNB. I don't even watch the news. I mean, I have a TV here in my office, but I don't even turn it on because I just rely so heavily on uh, your team. So the morning mashup for those of you that, you know, this is a great, great, you know, summary of what is going on. I mean, it gives you the economic calendar, the Fed speakers for the day, if there's anything coming up. It gives you some pre-market data on commodities, markets, Asian markets. It gives you any headlines that were happened from the night before, but also a summary of any kind of pre-market trading. So I really love this because if you don't have time to read all the headlines, you can just go to the morning mashup and check it out which is also part of is that part of the subscription or that's a separate yes standard? everything is part of the subscription the morning mashup the market wrap up the squawk the the news desk it's all a part of the subscription you know we want everyone to be as informed as you possibly can you know the, the, the mashup we do for you know everyone in the morning you know if you're waking up 
you know, all the overnight headlines, the pre-market press releases, overnight press releases, earnings from yesterday, everything you need to start your day, information-wise, you will find in the morning mashup. Company-specific meetings, annual shareholder meetings, analyst calls, your top conferences, all your syndicate information, analyst activity, upgrades, downgrades, initi initiations, anything you would need for a trader to start their day, you get it. By 8 a.m. every morning, you get your morning mashup, and by 5 p.m. every afternoon, your market wrap-up, giving you a breakdown of what happened during the day, all the headlines, all the social media talk, all the economic data. You know, we try to be your one-stop information for a, any type of trader. So, you know, we provide the newsletters included in the total package for people that are on the go. You know, if you're on the train going into work and you want something to read, you got your morning mashup to start your day. You're on your way home. Uh, you know, you got your market wrap up, which is sent by 5 p.m. at Eastern time every single day. You know, something to read on the way home, something to read before you, you know, in the evening, giving you a breakdown of what happened during the day just in case you weren't around. Well, it's just an amazing document. And I know a lot of people really love it because so many headlines in the news that it could be so overwhelming and i just love how you guys have it so organized in the in sections um even highlighting insider buys or um even uh important corporate conference calls from the different companies out there so i mean yeah. it's just so helpful so i see here you guys have a mobile access as well so if you're obviously not trading from home or you're mobile for the day and you want to stay connected um that's great it is available for both android and ios systems and last but not least, I just want to showcase too, you know, your team sometimes will share um, just unusual option activity. These are not recommendations to trade. These are just what they're spotting in the market. So could you talk a little bit about that? So unusual option activity. Not previous to, you know, the past few years, many people didn't really focus on unusual option activity. Um, unusual option activity is uh, is something that is watched thoroughly these days, especially ever since uh, CNBC has their own unusual option activity uh, segment uh, in the afternoons. Mm -hmm. Why is it important? Options have always been, in my opinion, since I started trading, one of the most important factors of understanding directions in markets. Mm -hmm. uh, a perfect example was uh, SQ. I know these are a little older, but these are just some of the ones that you know we provided. Sure. Uh, an SQ call activity. It was uh, a large call activity. Uh, it, it was in the January weeklies. We like to we like to mainly focus on short term type of option plays so we can get a better idea on the movements. And you know, once we whenever we mention an option, unusual option play in the new stats or the squawk, it's always in the reason because. We, we, we look at the total volume of the play compared to the open interest in that specific uh, uh, level. So in this one, the open interest was typically lower. We saw a large uh, call uh, activity in the January weeklies that expired at the end of January. As you can see on the chart, once that call was out there, the move in the stock was dollars. It went from 71 to like $74. So uh, when it comes to unusual options, uh, we provide around 7 to 12 on a daily basis. We don't like to flood the room on options because a lot of people don't understand options. It's a little more advanced uh, in certain areas. But we like to mention it because it's a lot of money, big money, going into specific stock plays. And it's something that we like to keep a close eye on. It's, uh, you know, people always say the option traders uh, have a better idea on a shorter or longer term play rather than an intraday move. And that's one of the reasons why we like to include unusual option activity in the news desk and squawk. Okay. So we could see that was a nice um, option there and it hit 74, fit, four, almost $75. That was an amazing one. And then we had Yayo, which was mentioned at one time. That was yeah, a yeah, volume you know, call. You know, typical uh, an, an intraday uh, analyst call. You know, we we mentioned those as well. Uh, we like to follow analysts. You know, any, especially specific uh, uh, analysts for specific sectors. You know, whenever we notice 
a top analyst mention a specific stock or a specific sector. We like to mention that as well. As you can see, you know, one example right here was Yayo, Y-A-Y-O, was initiated a buy in Aegis, and the move went from $1.20 to $1.50. A 30 cent move on a, on a dollar stock, you're getting a 20 to 30% pop. You know, that's another one of the other things, uh, aspects we like to mention to our uh, our members in the uh, News Desk and Squawk. Uh, uh, and you know what? A lot of people love those uh, opportunities because, you know, pennies can move really fast and you can make very good money. And then the last one yeah. here was the market imbalance on close. So I know you try sometimes to give it to us. I know lately because of the uh, coronavirus, we're not able to get it as early. But, uh, yeah. you, you know, talk to us a little bit about the market on close. The market on close is an old indicator used by a select few traders. It gives basically an idea of where the markets are, you know, the, the trend in the line, and usually typically in the final hour of the trading day. What the trend is, you know, we get a, we typically get a market on close and balance, you know, usually in amount, uh, you know, 100 million, 200 million, a billion on the buy side, sale side. It's, it's just an, it's a simple indicator used by a select few traders. And as of late, though, Vegas, as we all know, you know, especially during this coronavirus uh, pandemic issue, the market on close, which is typically released now at 3.50 p.m. Eastern Time, always has some sort of a volatile move, either to the upside with the buy imbalance or the downside with the sale imbalance. So what we try to do is, you know, give this information as well to our members providing them an idea of the direction the MOC, the market on close and balance is heading, either a buy side or a sale side. You know, it gives them an, an indication of, you know, a simple or quick move as we see these days, you know, at that 350 level, everyone is, you know, watching their indicators to see where the MOC is going to be. And as we see lately, the moves have been, you know, on, a, on, a, on the S&P side alone has been, five to 10 handle moves. So, you know, there is action there. And, you know, that is one of the reasons why we like to provide that indicator to our members. Well, we love it. And sometimes we're like, they people are used to it because, you know, we're like, what's the market on close? And we're like, waiting for it, guys, it's coming. Yeah. So people really <laughs> like the information, you know, it helps, it helps them a lot. So I noticed here, you guys have a lot of different social media. So, you know, for those of you that um, have uh, Facebook, you can find them at the Trade Exchange. You can also go on um, Instagram. They're also on Twitter. So most traders I know during the day, they love using Twitter and they love using stock twits. Um, so you can find um, at the Trade Exchange is the Twitter feed. And, um, you know, you can follow them there. I'm just going to try to move over their page here. You can see here the trade exchange right here and there's their Twitter feed. Uh, follow them here and uh, you can sometimes get real time news when it's posted. The other thing too, for those of you that use StockTwits, um, I can show you here. You can follow them on StockTwits as well and get real time news and then you can see the trade exchange website listed there. The last thing I want to show you guys as well. Uh, we have here the different subscription packages. You can get a monthly plan. You can get a semi-annual plan. You can get an annual plan. And you can also get a free trial as well. If you're going to try the free trial, uh, just enter code Vegas. Not for any discounts or anything like that. It's just to track um, you know, the response from talking about it on this episode. I'd uh, love to see if you guys are interested and try it out. And uh, if anyone wants to know more information about the trade exchange, please uh, message me uh, through Vegas that I love stocks.com. I'm happy to answer any questions you have about the trade exchange because I will say I cannot be without them. And I have to say one last thing. It's totally changed my trading. Many people have made very good money on the alerts from trade exchange. And they're not alerts about ideas, just alerts on the news. And one trade, just as easy as Tesla last week, has paid for this service for years. So check them out, tradeexchange.com. And I want to thank Melt for being here today because we finally got to talk to the voice 
behind the squawk. Melt, any last words to the viewers who are loving trade exchange? Hey, thank you so much. Once again, we, we appreciate everything you do. Uh, we appreciate all the positive feedback, you know, all the suggestions. You know, you're just helping us make our product better for all our members. Uh, one of the key things of trade exchange, you know, our, our mission, our goal, our line is... <laughs> Our goal at the Trade Exchange is to offer everyone the same competitive resources that all financial institutions receive at a price that anyone can afford. That is why, you know, when we started the Trade Exchange, we wanted to focus on our members, not, you know, providing them the information they need and not being, not breaking the bank. It's, it's a subscription mm -hmm. of a gym membership. You know, that's why everyone always calls us, you know, you're like a gym <laughs> membership. So, you know, it's something where we understand, you know, we we provide the information for our members. We want them to succeed. We want them to make money. You know, we are traders. You know, Trade Exchange was built for traders by traders. We've been in the business for over 50, 60 years, you know, combined with our, all our partners. And our main goal is to help better our members, help them succeed and make money. And at the end of the day, you know, our biggest, you know, what gives us gratitude is the fact that, you know, our members are being successful, our members are making money, and our members are happy with the information that we provide. You know, we always ask for suggestions, we always ask for comments, you know, because we always want to better our product for our members. And, you know, at the end, without our customers, without our members, you know, you know, they mean the most to us, we want to make sure that, they're always taken care of, that they're happy with the product that we provide them. And, you know, we try to do what we can to always give as much as we possibly can throughout the day. So once again, Vegas, we want to thank you, you know, for everything that you've done for us. You know, we want to thank you for, you know, the positive feedback, the positive mentions, you know, and, uh, you know, we are very grateful for all of that. Well, you're very welcome. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to listening to this episode of my interview with the Trade Exchange team, the best news service out there. You must try them out. There is nothing to risk. Try them out. You will not regret it. If you have any questions, like I said, message me. I'm happy to help you guys. And that's what I'm all about. I am also here to help traders learn, get educated, and make money and learn um, I will also be showcasing very soon um, on the next episode. I'll be looking to showcase about trade exchange option payday plays because uh, we mentioned here in this video, sometimes though the options uh, activity can sometimes affect a stock. So I will be sharing some of that content. So be sure to subscribe, like, and follow so that you can hear more about the trade exchange and how it will help you with your trading so thanks everyone have a great night and uh, please comment below have a great evening bye everyone